While connecting the extensions, make sure that Luna's shaft with the key is in the upright position. That means that it's fully calibrated and it's ready to get the extension connected. Each extension has three steps of putting it in and connected to Luna. It is a tight fit, so the hole in which the shaft is going into is a tight fit, so it has to be aligned, the axis of the hole with the axis of the shaft. If there are misalignments, you'll have trouble putting it in, and any misalignment there will provide friction and will actually make it difficult to put the extension in. So we're going to show you step by step how to put the extension in, but keep in mind that the alignment of both is key for an easy and quick setup. The first step is aligning the extension with the shaft and putting it slightly in. It's not going to go all the way yet and it'll allow rotation of the extension itself on the shaft, but the extension itself will not fall out of the shaft. The second step is aligning the extension in a top right position so that the key inside the extension is aligned with the keyhole at the shaft of, the, of Luna. So you can slowly rotate it left and right until you find a solution where it'll slightly go in and you'll not be able to move the extension one way or the other. In this position, this is like the second step of putting the extension in, but it's, it hasn't reached the connectors yet and it's not fully snapped with the electromagnet. So you can actually pull it out or pull it in. You just cannot rotate it either way. The third step when you have the extension aligned is to actually push the extension in until it reaches the electromagnet and the icon in the software of the electromagnet will start to shine. In this position, you cannot rip the extension out of Luna because it's already connected by the electromagnet. The electromagnet connectivity icon that represents extension being connected to Luna is on the top left corner. The magnet icon here is responsible for the extension. So with no extension connected, it's, it has a dark background. But if we put the extension in, it'll actually shine with a blue color, meaning that the electromagnet is connected. To disconnect the extension, we click the blue icon of the electromagnet to release the electromagnet, and we can take the extension out. So with the properly cleaned extensions and Luna's shaft, you'll be easily able to connect the extensions in under 10 seconds. So just put them in, put them inside, and the electromagnet icon is connected. If you want to put it out and take it out, just click the electromagnet icon again and take it out. The other important part is not to use too much force while putting the extension in. So if you need to use force to pull, put, push the extension in, it does mean that not enough cleaning has been made and you need to do improvements. It's the same with larger extensions. They just generate much more torque one way or the other. So with that, I like to use two hands while putting them in. So one hand near the extension connectors and one hand to stabilize the torque going one way or the other. So what we'll do is quite similar to any other extension. So it's still the three step, uh, three step walkthrough. Put that in a little bit, so you can still rotate it. Rotate it to an upright position. Now, connect it just a little bit. And here, push it inside, and it's detected by the software. So it's the same thing with any extensions. And when we disconnect it, I'll click the electromagnet icon, I'll have one, uh, one hand near the bottom, one hand near the top, and I'll put, push this out as well. So if there's friction, and in most cases the larger extensions provide more friction because the, there's force and torque going one way or the other, you have to clean them well and normalize the torque with another hand. So if it's cleaned, as you can see, it's quite easy to put that in as well. So it all boils down to practice and having the axis aligned quite, uh, quite well because any misalignment will provide friction and it will provide you with worse experience. So with practice, you can get this connected really quickly in under 10 seconds with starting the training. Sometimes after training, the extensions will not be in an upright position. It will remain where it was last being used. And if we disconnect the electromagnet, we can have trouble pulling this out. That's because there is a momentum, 
a force going downwards be because of the weight of the extension itself. The electromagnet is released, but there is still friction enough, so it becomes difficult to pull it out. In order to do that, we normalize, we, we, we minimize the torque that the extension is actually doing because of the weight. So I'll still use two hands like with any other extension. One here, one here. I'll gently lift this to compensate for gravity, and I'll pull this out gently. It will automatically return to its upright position, so you can connect the extension again or use any other one. But do remember that because it's a physical device, if a force is going downwards with gravity, it's generating friction and it will become more difficult to pull out. That doesn't mean that you have to apply more force to pull it out. It just means that you have to compensate for the force of gravity that's going downwards with another hand. And when it's done, you can still connect this, put that in, and you're good to go. So from time to time, when we boot up Luna with an extension already connected, you can see an orange warning light pulsing from the LED ring up front. That means that something is happening with Luna and she needs your attention. On the screen, we can see a notice, calibrating device, please wait, disconnect extension if connected. That means that Luna wants to calibrate its sensor and there's something preventing it, preventing her in doing that. That's the gravity, the friction, the force that the extension is currently applying. So she wants you to pick the extension and pull it out so that she can correctly calibrate. So don't worry about it, you just need to take the extension out. It's a standard procedure and it makes Luna much more precise in her measurements. So when we take the extension out, you'll actually see that she's returning to her upright position and she's calibrating one of the sensors uh, for torque measurements. If, however, you've just put the extension in um, and you still get the notice that it's calibrating the device uh, and you didn't do anything wrong and the extension is in the upright position, that may mean that it's unable to communicate with the extension itself. It means it's not able to detect the extension itself. To do that and to, to, to solve the problem, uh, disconnect the extension and try cleaning the spring-loaded pins for conductivity. It means that those aren't connected and Luna is not able to perform uh, and detect the extension itself. 